we start with someone who's finishing. James Maloney decided uh, decided to uh, hang the boots up. Blake, uh, mm. I mean, he's had a great career. Um, yep. I, I guess he can look back and be uh, happy with how things are gone. Oh, mate. Outstanding. I, mean, I remember playing against him when he couldn't get a crack with the Storm. Um, he was a little unknown over at the Storm, and they obviously had Cooper Cronk and the likes back then. But he was coming off the bench and played a handful of games for them, but it was just that skinny kid that tried hard. And then, little bit known to everyone, he comes over to the Warriors, and that's where everyone falls in love with him. And he, you know, sort of builds. I suppose he always had it, um, but behind great plays, you never get to see. You never get to saw it. Uh, get to see it. Um, then when he comes to the Warriors, and just the rest of his career just sort of went uphill, didn't it? I mean, every club he went to, everything he touched just turned to gold. Went to num- numerous grand finals, which, you know, some of us would love to get to one. Um, but, you know, his career was awesome. And he's a, he's a great bloke as well off the field. Like someone that you would always get along with. He had a lot of time for everyone. And there's always that, um, you know, there's always those people in the team that can just rip into the coach and get away with it. Just that, that prankster, that jokester. And that was him, mate. Um, yeah, awesome career. I think he's, you know, he's been battering around for a bit the last couple of years, so it's um, time to sail off in the sunset. Carl, two two premierships with two different clubs, uh, and as Blake uh, said, he started at the Storm, uh, and if he had stayed there, I don't know, be, his career probably wouldn't have uh, panned out the way it did. Yeah, he was. Like Blake said, an incredible player. Um, did he did he start at the Eels? Yeah, he started at the know? Eels. I and don't know if he played team? first grade at the Eels, though. No. He might have, but I know he was with the Eels, and I just remember him when I was playing against him was at the Storm. Yeah. I can't remember him at Parramatta, but he yeah. was there. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, Paul, two, two rings, uh, different clubs. Got robbed by Ford Pass for the Warriors in 2011. I can still remember the day. Um, Tell us about it, Cal. I think it was a Glenn, Glenn Stewart Ford pass right on half time, or something similar like that. Anthony Watmo. Anyway, I don't want to don't want to bring the mood down. Um, but yeah, Jimmy Maloney. He was one of the one of the great characters and and one of the better players going around. Um, yeah, you can't. I, I can't imagine you'd find uh, many people saying uh, anything bad about him anywhere Blake did you get a chance to play with him or did you kind of cross no always I, miss him? I, I did actually get it as a funny story like um and it sort of sums up Jimmy Maloney um I was in a origin camp with Jimmy before he had played origin there they get a lot of the um up and coming all oh, the young kids and things in and um I was lucky enough to room with him and he was at the Warriors at the time and um some room with Jimmy just normal chat anyway got told by Ricky no beers. All right, we're here. You know, I don't want you going down, getting on the piss or anything. All right, boys? So I'm like, oh, yeah, yep. Anyway, the about 20 of us go down to the Coogee Bay and rip in, and we're there for like, and we're thinking like, you know, this, but this is how we're brought up, seeing these blokes just go to origin camp, just drink, and then play footy, and you hear stories about it. So you're like, well, we're here, sort of, even though we weren't actually at the origin. And um, we go down. Anyway, we get... They, they come down, grab us at about midnight, get to bed, blah, blah, like, tell us off. Um, you'd probably never be here again, blah, blah. This just going off at us after they told us not to drink piss. We get back to the room and I'm there and Jimmy's like, let's go. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, let's go. No, it's not finished. I go, mate, it's done. Like, oh, I got in trouble last year. I can't get in trouble anymore. <laughs> little, little fella snuck off and um, went out. Everyone else stayed home. And wake up at about 6.30 and here comes Jimmy strolling in in the jeans and the shirt. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, I've just been at the cross with um, Joey Johns, just having a good night. Um, what about you? Oh, me, fuck, I was shitting myself. I was in bed. Jimmy, <laughs> 11, eight, never me, never got another look in into any of those camps. You know, none of that. You've been on the piss too many times. Jimmy, out till 7 in the morning, played, what, 10 or so Origin games. Two premierships, but that's just a little bit of Jimmy. Doesn't take no for an answer. If he wants to do what he wants to do, he'll go out, get on the beers, and wake up the next day and train. 
and that's yeah. um that's sort of him, man. You needed to buddy. You needed to buddy up with Joey Johns, mate. That's what. Yeah. That's, that's what I took out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I don't have the I don't have the Kahuna's that uh that Jimmy does, and he gets he seems to get away with whatever he wants to as well, which is good. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that Coogee Pub, that's fantastic as well. They they put on a good show there, Crocky. We've had a few nights uh, there when we've been over for either the league or the races at Randwick. So, mm. yep. oh wow. That's brilliant. Yeah, I agree with Carl. If you're going to go out, make sure you buddy up with uh, one of the immortals. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. You've got a pass.